The worldwide economy is just this side of DOA right now, so why not use the dead to help pay the bills? At least that's the hope of two students from Thailand. Wee Fai Chang and his friend Strathawat Boonprak Hong, uh, we'll just call him Sret, uh, they're offering homeowners a creepy and somewhat useless service. For a nominal fee, they will spend the night in your house, apartment, or other scary place, like a funeral home or the break room at the DMV, if you think it's occupied by the dead. The DMV most certainly is. The next morning, the two friends will report to you if your location is ghost-free or ghost-infested. I say this is a useless service, as WeFi got the idea because, he says, sometimes it's hard to sell or rent a place where something spooky might have happened. Well, maybe in the past, but nowadays? Apparently this guy never spends time on social media or watching cable television. Today you can jack up the price of your supposedly haunted home or former crime scene location and we will eagerly pay to stay there, or even buy the place, because we're just morbid that way. People even sell haunted objects like dolls at an inflated price, sometimes lying about it to warrant the price tag. WeFi and Sret started telling people about their service, and pretty soon people all over were talking about their sleep-on-the-job ghost hunting service. But nobody's hiring them. WeFi is sure people will want their help eventually, though. But really, why? Have WeFi and Sret never heard of ghost investigators who clamor for opportunities like this and will do it for free? They even bring cool electronic gadgets and flashy equipment with them to make a more informed decision, or at least appear to do so. And instead of sleeping, ghost investigators typically stay awake to monitor everything so they don't accidentally miss a moment with the Bodak. Wi-Fi and Sret, they're just bringing their toothbrushes and sleeping bags from what I can gather, and they're expecting to be paid for it. Visit any paranormal or horror group on Facebook and post something like, would you like to stay the night at this haunted house, and you'll get people from all over not just eagerly affirming the idea, but offering you their own hard-earned shekels to be the sleepover victims. They will actually pay you for the privilege of sleeping in your haunted house. There is an entire industry built around this, with haunted Airbnbs, haunted hotels, and more. Residing in a haunted house is practically a badge of honor and instantly makes you the cool kid on the block. Wi-Fi says he ain't afraid of no ghosts. I'm just paraphrasing that for fun. But that's not the case for his buddy Sret. Sret is a bit apprehensive, but still willing to do the job, if for no other reason than to prove to himself that ghosts aren't real. He'll bring a few special items with him, like Lucky Charms. He wants to make sure he's protected, you know, just in case. And honestly, having Lucky Charms with you is never a bad thing. Even if they don't protect you from ghosts, they are still magically delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah.